hello guys welcome to another new video in this video i'm going to show you how to make base shake effect on filmware 11 in this video i will show you three different way to make base shake first shake is direction blur shake second shake is with shake effect and the final shake is custom shake so without any delay let's get started Before we start, please subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. So open Filmora and import your file. I already imported my file. So first of all add your music into the timeline. Then you need to find your music bass part. So listen carefully and mark beat part. Go base part and press M for add marker. Listen all carefully and add marker. After adding all marker, add your video into the timeline. Then go effects and search direction blur. So this direction blur effect is only available on Filmora 11. So you need to upgrade your Filmora version. Ok now add this blur effect into first marker in upper track. Then zoom the timeline. Go one frame later and split this and delete extra part then double click on this and go effect properties you can change blur direction and change blur length from here so i set blur direction to 90 and set blur length to 25 then copy and paste on next frame Then double click on this and set blur direction to 270 degree. Now our video is now look like this. Ok now copy both and paste 4 times. Let's check preview. Ok now copy this and paste on other marker and you're done. So as you can see I already added video and music and mark beat part. Then go effects and go filter and go shake. Then add up down 2 shake into upper first beat. Then go 10 frames later and split this and delete extra part. Then double click on this and go shake option. Set position Y according to your video. And you're done. Let's check preview. Then copy and paste on other marker and our video will look like this. So go first marker. 
So split here and go 10 frames later and again split this. Then copy this part and paste on upper track. Now double click on this and go transform. Set scale to 1 on 0%. Then go custom animation. So add keyframe in first frame. Go next frame and set position x to minus 5. Then go next frame and set position y to 5. Go next and reset position. Again go next frame and set x to 5. Then next y to minus 5. Next reset the position. Again go next and set x and y to minus 5. Next reset the position. Again go next frame and set x and y to 5. Then lastly reset the position. So let's check preview. Now do same process on other part and our video will look like this. So hope you guys enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. Thanks for watching, goodbye.